everybody in today's video i'm going to be teaching the dr popular yo-yo trick magic trapeze and this is what it looks like okay so before we hop into this video i just want to say a big thank you to everybody uh, if you guys don't know we just had a thousand subscribers so i'm really happy about that thank you guys so much i really appreciate it um anybody who's ever watched the video likes or commented i appreciate you so much and so thank you all right so we're gonna hop into this video Okay, so this trick is kind of like an element that you can use to get into any combos or tricks. So any any combo that starts in a trapeze, you can use this. It's just, it's a nice little flashy flare almost, and it's a really cool little trick. So to, to, a few tips before we start is try, actually, I would recommend using a bit of a shorter string during this trick. I just find it a lot easier to do with a shorter string rather than a longer string. So if you want to cut your string a little bit shorter, um, also when you do it, you can just create a wrap around your wrist to shorten the string a little bit up to you if you find it easy with a long string just do it that way but just it is a little bit easier in my opinion with a shorter string to start off we're going to throw a breakaway just like this and we're going to let it go around our index finger as if we were doing a trapeze however we're going to miss the string okay we're going to miss it in front and actually take our throw hand and cross it underneath our non-throw hand so they're crossed like an x like this so the throw hand is going underneath the non-throw hand and it'll be crossed with this string with the string going over this uh non and non-throw hand index finger all right so once again we're going to throw a breakaway almost land a trapeze but we're going to miss to the front cross our hands over like this and we're going to put take our throw hand and cross it underneath our non-throw hand so we'll be in a position that looks just like this all right so once we are here what we want to do is we want to pull up with this non-throw hand. So what we're trying to do here is actually get the yo-yo to go onto this string right here, this kind of small string that's going between our two index fingers. So how we're going to do that is we're going to kind of pop the yo-yo up by pulling this hand, our throw hand down, and our non-throw hand up like this. It's going to kind of pop the yo-yo up. And what we actually want to do is kind of bring this hand downwards so that it is easier to land on the yo-yo. So we're going to want to pop it up into this string here, but we're going to actually want to land closer to our, our throw hand middle finger. That'll just make it easier to land the trick. So essentially what is going to happen while we do this is we're going to pop it up. It is going to hit this string, right? It's going to hit this string and then we are going to, it's going to land here. We're almost going to create a hoop with our arm and roll it to the inside just like that, but it's going to happen in one fluid motion. So we're going to pop it up right as it hits that string. We want to start creating this hoop so right as it hits that string start to create this hoop and the yo-yo will kind of like slide on the string and want to create that hoop and start to swing it something else that really helps me is kind of giving it like a few pinwheels and so it's going to be going from uh it's going to start going to the left and as it goes to the left start to actually pop it up what that's going to do is it's going to help it slide down the string so it's going to come from the left to the right and it's going to slide down the string which is gonna help with the kind of uh, twirling of the yo-yo. So it's gonna come, it's gonna slide down the string like this, and as it's sliding, what we're gonna do is take the yo-yo as it's sliding and bring it to the inside of our arm and kind of do a motion like this, as if we're doing skin the gerbil. Okay, so let me break out on how to actually do this. So like I said, we're gonna pop it up, kind of pulling down with this hand and moving this hand up. And like I said, kind of swing it to the side to help it slide on the string so really you can just practice getting it to slide like this right we want it to slide across the string kind of like i don't know like a like a rope right so it's gonna be sliding just like this what we want to do once we start to feel that sliding motion happen is uncross our arms okay uncross it and allow the yo-yo to kind of uh do this motion between our arms so it's going to be like this it's going to pop up and it's going to be like that however i'm not hitting the string here but i'm just showing you the motion so it's going to pop up and then as it comes here, we're going to let it come to the inside, bring this right arm around, and it'll land into a trapeze. Just like that. Okay, so it's going to go like this, pop up, slide down that string. Okay, and we're going to uncross the arms, create a hoop. So we're going to push this elbow out, create a hoop, and let it swing through just like that. So it pops up, and we're going to allow it to swing through. Just like that. So basically the motion that we want to happen here is uncrossing our arms, right? The arms are going to be uncrossing. And at the same time as we're uncrossing the arms, basically just pop this elbow out and allow the yo-yo to go on the inside of your arm. That's kind of like the points you need to think of. So once you feel that sliding on the string, uncross the arms and let the yo-yo go on the inside and that'll naturally kind of let the motion happen. 
One really big tip that I kind of had problems with when I was doing this trick originally is trying to do it too fast in this popping motion, almost like a Koweji bow or something, right? We don't want to do that. It wants to be nice and smooth. So let it slide on that string and then slowly cross your hands. We don't want to be like this, okay? This is decent for practicing, getting the motion down. However, when we're actually trying to land the trick, you want to actually slow it down so that it actually will land like this. So like I said, this does not need to be a fast motion. Literally, try your best to slow it down as much as you possibly can, and that will help with landing it a lot more. Another tip is to really try to pop this video up. Don't just kind of like half do it and pop it up to here where it's missing the string. Really pop it up into this string here to get it to actually hit, because getting it to hit is the most important part of actually landing this trick. So really get it to pop up as high as you can, and we want to aim for towards right down here towards our non th towards our throw hand uh, middle finger. We don't want to aim up here towards our non-throw hand. We want to aim down here so it'll actually slide on the string and make it more smooth. So nice and slow, aim for right there, and then twist our arms. So that's basically the keys. Aim for right here, pull down, pull up, okay? It's going to land right here, and then we are going to turn our arm in, uncross our arms, and it will land. Just like that.